Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a setup guide for the Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Garden of Assemblage randomizer mod and how to get it all set up and started. So uh, first thing we're going to need to do is get all of our materials that we need to actually set the thing up. Uh, the first couple of things that we're going to need are a fresh unmodded version of uh, or a fresh unmodded ISO of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. You're also going to need a BIOS for the PS2 emulator. Uh, I can't supply either of those things to you directly in the description or anything, but if you Google them, you should be able to find them pretty naturally. Uh, if you're having any particular difficulty finding either of these two things, uh, I'd highly recommend going to the uh, KH2FM Rando Discord. There will definitely be a link in the description there. You can go to this Discord and uh, go to General and ask for like where I could potentially find the ISO or a BIOS or anything. If you're having trouble finding either of those things, I'd highly recommend going to this Discord, and I'm sure people would be more than happy to uh, to answer your questions. Uh, after that, uh, you're, what you're going to want to do is uh, download the uh, what is it? A couple of things that I have linked in the description. The first is this RAR file that I've uh, compiled. Uh, this RAR file has all of the uh, cheat files and all of the patch files that you're going to need to uh, get the mod up and running. Just go ahead and extract that to your desktop or wherever you want to actually extract it, just someplace that you won't lose it. Uh, the other thing that you're going to download and extract is this particular version of PCSX2. Uh, this is going to be the emulator we're using. Uh, the reason that I want you to use this particular version of PCSX2 is that it has the uh, cheat limit completely removed, and that actually is what allows us to do the uh, the Garden of Assemblage mod. It's what allows the mod to actually function. If we didn't have that, it just wouldn't be able to work. So make sure you have this particular version of PCSX2 downloaded. Uh, I'd also recommend just going ahead and opening this bad boy up. Uh, and just kind of going through the first time configuration. Uh, what is it? It'll ask you for like language and all of the uh, the plugins. But then you'll also get to this BIOS section where it asks for a BIOS. Uh, just uncheck use default setting, go to browse, and then go to wherever you have your BIOS set up or wherever you have your BIOS saved. Oh, wait, hold on. Desktop, BIOS, here we go, select folder. And then from there, just choose whichever BIOS you want. It doesn't really matter what region it's from or anything like that. Just select a BIOS and it'll uh, boot up like normal. Awesome. So uh, we're going to uh, minimize this stuff for the time being. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to patch our ISO so that it's uh, actually got everything that it needs up and running. Uh, like the, what is it? The patches that we're going to be applying are an English patch as well as just some texture stuff that uh, applies specifically to this mod. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take our ISO and we're going to drag and drop it into uh, the, what is it? The folder with all the, the patch files and, uh, and cheat files and such. Make sure that your ISO is in the same folder as the KH2FM toolkit application. Uh, that way when we actually run KH2FM toolkit, it'll recognize which ISO it's supposed to patch. Uh, and the other thing to make sure that it knows which ISO to patch is to rename it, rename the ISO, I mean, to specifically KH2FM in all caps, just to be safe. Um, if you have extensions enabled, type it to KH2FM.ISO. If you don't have extensions uh, showing, just type it to KH2FM and then go to properties and make sure that the file type is a .iso. That way it'll uh, everything will, will work properly. So the next thing that we're gonna do after that is we're going to, what is it? Hold control or command if you're using a Mac and click all of the patch files. And then we're gonna drag and drop all the stuff onto KH2FM toolkit. That'll open a uh, command file uh, right here. And as long as it looks like this, all you have to do is press enter and it'll start the patching process. Uh, once the patching process is done, uh, it should show that there weren't any errors and all you have to do is press enter to exit KH2FM toolkit. And what we'll have is this KH2FM.new ISO. This is your patched ISO with all of these, uh, all these things applied to uh, KH2FM. 
And once you have this, you've successfully patched your uh, patched your game. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our emulator. Uh, so let's have, let's see, let's minimize this and pull up PCSX2. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to C DVD, then ISO selector, and then browse. And then from here, we're going to go to that patched ISO that we just made a second ago. And we're going to select that ISO, um, right here. Perfect. Click open. And this will set it so that every single time you boot PCSX2, it will boot that particular ISO. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to system and make absolutely 1000% sure that you enable cheats. Make sure that this is, uh, is clicked and it's checked and everything. Otherwise, this will not work at all. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our, uh, our folder with all our patch and cheat files. And uh, we're going to take this cheat file uh, and we're going to throw it into the uh, the cheats folder of uh, what is it our uh, our dev version of PCSX2. So wherever we open PCSX2, uh, it's going to have a cheats folder right here. I'm going to click that, and we're going to just drag and drop it right in. So that way, um, when the game enables cheats, it'll draw from this particular panache file and uh, that should set up everything correctly uh, from this point on really all it is all you need to do is set up controller bindings uh, as well as um, which you can do from config controllers plugin settings right here as well as your video settings if you go to plugin settings right here uh, one thing that I think is going to be the same for everybody is to use direct 3d 11 as your renderer and then outside of that, your internal resolution, this is this is typically the thing that I think that you're going to change depending on how strong of a computer you have. So if you have a, uh, a slower computer, you might want to run at a lower resolution. Uh, if you have a strong, or what is it? If you have a stronger computer, I'm sorry, I probably had got that mixed up. If you have a stronger computer, you can run at a higher resolution. If you have a weaker computer, then you probably want to bump it down. Just whatever your computer can handle and whatever will have it run without any sort of uh, lag or um, any sort of like hiccups or stutters or anything like that. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, generate a seed and we're going to generate a seed from uh, this website right here. Uh, here, let's delete all that. This is uh, randomizer.valixer.com. And uh, this is every single time you want to start up a new playthrough of the randomizer and you want to re-randomize all the items, you're going to go to this website to get a new seed. Uh, I'd highly recommend going over the help section right here. Uh, this will tell you pretty much everything that you need to know about how to customize the seed to your liking, what stuff you want to randomize, what stuff you want to leave out, uh, and how to go about that process. Uh, probably the most important thing to remember about this sort of stuff is uh, this little section right here, uh, because that's, uh, what is it, randomize, replace, and vanilla are going to be the options that you're going to see for the majority of things that you either want to randomize or don't want to randomize. Uh, so for example, uh, Atlantic over here I have on replace. What that means is that there's going to be no important items thrown into Atlantica, but I still want the Blizzard upgrade and I want Mysterious Abyss to be part of the pool. So it just lets me have all the cool stuff randomized in, but I don't want to have actually have to go to Atlantica to get any cool items. That's what replace means. Randomize is just kind of like a one-to-one, -one, like cool items can be randomized to that location and it'll randomize the cool items from that location into the item pool. Uh, so from there, yeah, you just pretty much randomize the seed to your liking. You can just choose some random settings here. Uh, what to include, what not to include, uh, just, just stuff like that. And then from there, once you're actually all set and done and you have everything set to your liking, what you'll go is you'll, you'll, what you'll do is you'll go to, uh, random either, either name your seed or you'll just, you know, choose random. doesn't really matter. And then from there, you can download your seed. And for the purposes of our tutorial, you're going to be downloading this specific panache file right here. 
and then you're going to go to uh, your downloads, get that Panache file in your downloads, and take it to the same uh, cheats file location. Uh, hold on, let me... Yes, right here. So the one, uh, the one where we sent our uh, our other Panache file in the PCSX2 uh, version 1.5.0 cheats folder, send it directly into there. And this is pretty much what it should look like. With these two Panache files back to back. And uh, if you want to, you can keep this window open so that you can check the spoiler log so that you can, like for say, for instance, you don't like the seed, but you still want to know where all the items are. You can go to the spoiler logs and uh, search up your items and where they actually ended up being. Uh, and from here, pretty much all we need to do is actually boot it up and uh, and check to make sure that everything is, is working correctly. So let's go to system and then boot ISO fast. Make sure you have all your uh, controller plugins all set up and everything. Oh, that's right. Other thing. Audio can be pretty loud depending on what your audio settings are, so I have to bring this down quite a bit. Alright, so all you have to do is start a new game. It doesn't really matter what difficulty you're going to go with, uh, just any old difficulty. Start a new game with these settings. And if you've, did, if you've done everything correctly, it'll send you to the Station of Serenity with the three dream weapons. You shouldn't have to skip any cutscenes or anything like that. Perfect. Uh, that should set, every, set up everything correctly. Uh, and then from here, it doesn't really matter which dream weapon you choose. Uh, so I would choose the sword just because it's a little bit uh, closer. And then once you've chosen that, if things are correct, it should send you to the uh, the Garden of Assemblage. Perfect. Uh, from here, let me just uh, change my config a little bit. Awesome. So to make even further sure that everything is randomized as it should be, uh, you have these two chests right next to each other. Um, in the vanilla game, this should give you a map and it should give you a lost illusion. Uh, but in a randomizer, should give you something completely exactly completely something completely different. You get experience boost from this chest and rising dragon. So that's how you know that everything is randomized when you get some different items there. And then just hit this, and you should get the portals to each different location, different worlds. And if everything uh, worked correctly, you should also get these specific textures right here where, uh, what is it, you'll get like the Mickey emblem right here, so this will take you to, uh, to Disney Castle. This should take you to, uh, what is it, it should take you to Hollow Bastion, and all that sort of thing. But yeah, should have everything working correctly. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, tutorial, and hopefully it helps you out just to get things started. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, I can try and answer some of those questions in the in the YouTube comments, or I would, again, highly, highly recommend you go to the KH2FM Rando Discord. That'll be there'll be a link for that in the description. Uh, and if you have, you know, if you're looking to race people, if you have any questions, if you want to know about the up and coming updates for the mod for Randomizer, you can uh, show up here and uh, get every all of those questions answered and uh, and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you out. Uh, as I hope I helped out as best as I could. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Have fun with Rando.